guys, I'm back. Today I will talk to you about raising monarch butterflies, also known as Danis plexibus. I have been raising monarchs for the past two years. In 2012, I was lucky enough to see that the monarch caterpillars that year had turned into butterflies in May. But in June 2013, the monarch population had decreased by 56% over the year. And now, in 2014, it has decreased more. So I am aiming to turn that around. I am aiming to turn around the endangering of the monarch butterfly. And you can too. Here's how. Step 1. Find or grow a milkweed plant on your property. Make sure your property is pesticide free before you plant your milkweed. In this case, you can grow one using the milkweed seeds I gave you during the Prime Minister elections. Milkweed plants are the only plants monarchs can lay their eggs on because their caterpillars feed off of it. Grown milkweed plants look like this. Step 2. Get or find a monarch egg. You can find these eggs on milkweed plants, usually the underside of a leaf, and you can buy them as well. There is not much monarchs left in the world, so you will probably have to buy them. They are white and as small as a sesame seed, and they look like this. Step 3. Only do the step if you found, not bought, your egg. Cut off the leaf that the egg is on to separate it from the actual plant. Step 4. Put the leaf in a plastic container. Add holes for breathing and then cover the holes with mesh so the caterpillars cannot escape. The container I use looks like this. Step 5. Keep the milkweed leaves you collected moist. I used a wet paper towel wrapped around the stem of the leaf. Step 6. Check on your eggs every day. Step 7. After three or four days, the eggs will turn black at the top, and after another day, they will hatch into tiny caterpillars. Step 8. The first thing the caterpillar does after it has hatched is that it eats its eggshell. The caterpillar is about three millimeters long at birth, and the caterpillar is also double its size on the second day. Step 9. It will keep growing for about eight more days, equaling about ten more days in total. The caterpillar will be eating lots of milkweed as it grows. You will have to get more milkweed leaves to feed the caterpillars. Step 10. The caterpillars will molt about four times during their growth. It is best not to disturb them during molting periods because they could die. Step 11. After its full growth, the caterpillar will make its way to the top of the container. There it will hang upside down from the top, making a J-shape. Step 12. Its final molt forms its chrysalis. It is green with a black stem on top. They look like this. Step 13. It will remain in the chrysalis stage for about one to two weeks. Step 14. About one day before the monarch emerges, the chrysalis will go clear, and the monarch will vis be visible through the chrysalis. That stage looks like this. Step 15. The monarch will emerge and hang from the chrysalis skin. Step 16. The newly emerged monarch butterfly's wings will be crumpled from being in the chrysalis so it will have to pump fluids out of its body. Don't be scared if you see a red liquid dripping from the monarch. It's just part of the monarch raising process. Wait a few hours for the monarch to stretch its wings. When it is flapping its wings, it is ready for its first flight. Step 17. Take the monarch gently from the container by your finger. Carefully move the butterfly onto the plant outside. Congratulations, you have just released a monarch butterfly into the wild. I hope you have taken this matter into careful consideration and have learned a lot from this video. Thanks for watching.